Hi guys, today I have a review on the Lorac Gold, and this is the brand new palette by Lorac. Um, I have to say, I really enjoy this palette, just to start off the bat with that. I want to just go over the colors, whether you really need this or not, and just compare it to the original one. So this one is a little bit slightly, oh, <laughs> lighter than the original packaging, and of course they both have the little zipper, and this one says gold. Like the like the original palette, all the names start with un, z, un, yeah, like with un. So on this one, these are the shades. It comes with the mirror, and these are the shades that are in the palette themselves. So this one is more of a warm gold palette compared to the original one. The original one is definitely more of a rosy undertone. So that is the basic difference between one palette and the other. Um, on the top you have the original and on the bottom is the gold one. So the pigmentation on this is a very very nice. I'm gonna go ahead and insert a picture of swatches so you guys can see all these shades and then also a picture of the original swatches and then the gold swatches underneath so you can see the different shade variations. As you can see, the pigmentation in this is super, super nice. It's just as good as the first one, which I absolutely, absolutely love this palette. So this was one of my favorite, favorite Lorac palettes. So I was super, super excited when this one came out. Of course, when I saw the colors, I was like, eh, I don't really need all of that. I mean, I own a lot of, lot of palettes and not, you know, there's a lot of colors that are very similar when um, I look at it. I have a lot of neutral shades and um, neutral kind of browns and golds and things like that. So it is a palette where I feel like if you own a lot of neutral palettes, you don't really need this one as a makeup junkie and just as a collector when I saw it I just had to have it so it just would depend on you as a person if you really want it or not I don't feel like it's a must-have just because of the shade range it is something that is really nice to have or if this is gonna be your first palette I think it's a nice palette especially if you're more of an olive skin tone girl and you like more golden undertones on your skin then this would be a really nice palette to have so as far as the shades that are similar, I don't feel like any of the shades are similar at all. I know a lot of people said, oh, they're basically the same, but they are not. Once you see them in person and completely side by side, that's when you can definitely tell the difference that these are browns that are a lot more rosy undertoned and these are more warm undertones. So you can definitely see the difference in all the different shades right there. Even the darker shades, you can see how plummy they look right here compared to the ones up here. So I feel like all the shades are completely, completely different from one palette to the next. Even the, um, the only gold shade, goldish kind of shade is undiscovered and this is a very light shade here in the original palette and none of the shades, um, here's unlocked next to it, this one's a lot lighter, unlimited is a lot more goldy undertone and even predictable is a lot more of a peachy undertone so none of the shades look the same at all I feel like the, sh the two palettes are completely completely different shades um, even though a lot of people keep saying that they are ident identical but they're not so that would depend on your undertone and if you like either rosy undertone or more warm undertone or if you're just a makeup junkie that wants to have them both so this palette is worth $42 and I really feel like it's worth the $42. Most of Lorac palettes run around that. That's exactly what the uh, original unzipped goes for, I think. Of course, you could always wait for a good coupon, like an Ulta 20% off. I'm always on the hunt for a good coupon or a discount. <clears throat> As far as this one, I found it at Kohl's. I did pay regular price for it, but I do think that you could use your Kohl's cash on this and get it a lot more, um, a lot cheaper. <laughs> so I would definitely use my Kohl's cash and just get it for 10, maybe $20 cheaper, and then that would even make this a lot more, a lot better for your bang for 
blah, blah, blah. <laughs> bang for your buck. So that would depend on, on you and how much you're willing to pay for it and if you really feel the necessity to have it. So yeah, um, those are my overall opinions. As far as the quality of the shades, I feel like they're both the same as far as pigmentation, as far as, far as blendability. I have been testing this out for a few days and I really, really enjoy it just as much as the first one. Okay, so if I had to choose between the first one or the second one, I would definitely go with the original. And I know that kind of sounds <laughs> weird to say, but I feel like the original kind of just goes with any skin tone, even though it is more of a raspberry kind of rosy undertoned. Um, these burgundy shades and these just kind of just look flawless on anyone and they really stand out to me. I do say that if you have olive skin tone, this is gonna look very beautiful on you. But um, if you're between one or the other, I would definitely go with the original, but maybe, you know, it depends on your preference. If you like more gold undertones, then go with the gold. But if you're kind of up in the air, you don't mind either or, I would definitely go with the original. I, there's just something about the, 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 sh these shades right here that just look absolutely stunning. And that's not to, to down on the gold. I really enjoy it and I've really been using it a lot. But the original just is the original boss. I mean, I don't know what to say. It just, I've, I've really, really enjoyed it from the very, very first day. So, yeah, that's just kind of my take on it. That, Like I said, it all depends on personal preference and that whole thing. So, yeah, hopefully this was helpful for you to decide. If you have any questions whatsoever, leave them down below, and I'll try to get to them as soon as possible. Thank you guys so much for watching, for subscribing, and until next time, bye, guys.